Okay, so I can't believe this is all happening every single day. I think that, you know, this is all just a nightmare and we're just going to wake up and it's all going to be over. Um, it's a true tragedy. So many of us have family members that have been affected by this. Uh, a lot of us have family members that have had to shut their business down, lay off their employees. And then, of course, we haven't even talked about the people that have been affected uh, if their family members have actually died from the virus itself. But today we're going to talk about the $1,200 stimulus package and stimulus check that Congress finally just passed through about an hour and a half ago. Now, I'm just going to talk about it based off of the reports that I've heard from different news sites. There is some differing opinions on it. A lot of people are arguing online, the little nitty gritty details here and there. So if I get anything wrong, please comment down below anything that you think I got wrong. I'm gonna go over the big details on this, get into why this matters for you, if you're going to receive the money, if you're not gonna receive the money, if this is gonna help the economy as a whole, and then at the end, I'm also gonna go over some common questions that I keep on seeing popping up on YouTube, in the comments section, and on Reddit. So as we know, there was a ton of argument on whether this would be released on Monday, how much it was gonna be, uh, who is going to get the package, and they tried to get it out on Monday, but they're, you know, of course the politicians didn't get along, but finally we were able to get this passed on Wednesday. So overall, the stimulus package is going to be $2 trillion with $250 billion going towards direct checks to individuals. $350 billion is going to go towards small businesses and $500 billion is going to go towards big businesses. And then an additional $250 billion is going towards unemployment insurance benefits. Now the $500 billion in loans that's going to big companies, a lot of people are very upset about that but apparently it is going to distressed big companies, which I feel like all of them are distressed at this point, but some of the uh, details on that are a little murky, so I'm not gonna comment too much on that. Now, $130 billion or so is gonna be going to really hard hit hospitals, and then there's gonna be another 150 billion going to different state and local governments that have been really hard strapped and hit on cash just because of the response to the coronavirus. So let's talk about who is going to actually be getting these checks, which are proposed to be about $1,200 per American. Now overall about 90% of people are going to be getting the checks. That's what they estimate. Whether you get the check or not is going to be based on your 2019 taxes if you filed them and if you haven't filed them yet if they haven't been completed they're going to be based on your 2018 taxes. So individuals that have earned less than $75,000 a year would be eligible for the $1,200 check. With married couples you just double that $150,000 a year or less and you're going to be eligible for that check. And of course you would get $2,400 instead of 1200 for every dependent or child that you have under you you're going to get another $500 so where it gets a little bit murky is between $75,000 a year and 99,000 so you'd still get a check in between those two amounts but it wouldn't be nearly as much and this goes up to $198,000 for couples that are married and they file jointly above $99,000 a year and you're not going to be getting any check at all so basically what this means is if you're making over $99,000 a year in gross income you're not going to be getting getting any help whatsoever. However, that's only about 10% of Americans, so 90% of them are covered. Now, one of the problems with the plan and the reason it didn't go through on Monday is because many Americans were extremely unhappy that people who didn't file taxes weren't covered. So this would include people who are on disability, unemployment, etc. It seems like with this new plan, all of those people who didn't file taxes or they didn't have to file taxes will be getting a $1,200 check. And all of the direct payments will be in as soon as April 6th. That's what everybody reported, although history might say that it would take a little bit longer than that, and I'll be getting into that a little later in the video. Now, if you are one of those people who got laid off and you're getting unemployment benefits, on top of whatever your state is paying you now, it looks like you'll be getting an additional $600 a week. And you'll be eligible to receive this for up to 39 weeks or until whatever is happening right now is over with. So let's talk about if you're one of those Americans that makes a little bit too much money to be eligible for the loans in this pay period. What you would want to do in this situation if you made enough in 2018 so you can't be eligible for this check however you didn't make enough in 2019 let's say your business is not doing as well this year or something along those lines what you want to do is immediately file your 2019 taxes however if you're on the other end of the spectrum let's say you're eligible for the 2018 check however if you filed your 2019 taxes you wouldn't be eligible for it you would want to delay doing that another important thing about the plan is they're going to be deferring student loan payments for a about a year, so no interest on your student loan payments for a year. Some reports are saying six months, but most of them at this 
point are saying one year. So that's really good news for people who have to pay their loans every single month. It looks like you won't have to pay them for a year. And then on top of that, it's not going to compound for a year. Now this next part is a little bit murky. There's a lot of different reports here and it kind of depends on how big the company is and everything like that. And it would be way too much to go over in this video. But it looks like people who do get sick with the coronavirus or they get sick during this time are going to have expanded paid sick leave. So let's quickly talk about what this is gonna do for the economy and then I'm gonna get onto the common questions that keep on getting asked all over the internet. So the last time that stimulus checks like this were sent out was around 2008 when we were looking to go into a recession. The George W. Bush administration did send these checks out. It wasn't to everybody and usually it was only a few hundred dollars. It definitely wasn't $1,200 like they're looking to send out now. And it's really arguable whether this actually helped the economy that much or not. We still ended up going into the financial crisis and having the recession. Some would say that it made it a little less bad than it was going to be, but many people argue that it didn't actually help the economy all that much. And the reason is, is because a lot of people probably didn't even spend these checks. They just put it into their savings. Savings. A year later in 2009, they did the same thing. It was around $250 and a lot of the details were pretty similar. And again, this didn't really help that much. Now this crisis is quite a bit different than the one that happened in 2008. And so you could make a pretty solid argument that this will be something that can help people until we get this virus under control. So only time will tell whether this really does provide enough relief for people. I know that a lot of people are saying on the internet, 1200 just is not enough to keep them going. But I guess you could say that it's better than nothing. Again, only time will tell. Now with both of those other stimulus checks that I mentioned, it took a lot longer than just a week or two in order to get them out. It actually took months in some cases. So I'm hoping that we do all get this check around April 6th or so, but there's a good chance that we won't. There's a lot of people saying that if you filed taxes and you set up direct deposit, there's a very good chance you're going to get this check much faster. Whereas if you've been getting your tax returns in the mail, you might not. So a common question I keep on seeing over and over again uh, when I'm looking at the internet here is, individuals that had little to no tax liability in 2018, 2019, are they still going to be getting the full $1,200 check? And it would make sense that they would get this check as those are probably the people that need it the most. And the answer from what I've seen, the one that they were proposing on Monday, they would only get a $600 check or maybe even nothing at all. However, they've changed it. It looks like everybody's going to be getting a $1,200 check. Now the exceptions to this would be people who have been filing as a dependent to somebody else. And then the other exception to this would be people who are not citizens of the United States or they're illegal aliens. And then of course the ones that I mentioned before, people who are making more than uh, $99,000 a year are not going to be getting any checks. Now where it gets a little bit murky here is if you're an adult, let's say you graduated last year and you filed your 2018 taxes, however this year you're being claimed as a dependent by your parents, it's gonna get really murky here and nobody really has the answers. Hopefully they just automatically assume the best and they send you the check either way. Now another question people are asking over and over again because in the original plan they were planning on doing this is, are they going to use your 2018 taxes or your 2019 taxes? And it looks like they're gonna start by using your 2019 taxes if you filed them already. And if you haven't, they're going to move back and use your 2018 taxes. Whereas the other plan was the other way around. They're gonna use your 2018 taxes and if you haven't filed those, then they're going to move and look at your 2019 taxes. I hope that makes sense. Another question that keeps on popping up are those whose income is completely dependent on programs like Social Security, for instance, are they going to be eligible to get the $1,200 checks? And the answer to that so far from what it seems is yes. Now, what about small businesses that have been most impacted by this bill? You know, an example of this would be restaurants, for instance, who have basically needed to completely shut down. So beyond the help already mentioned, small businesses like this that have less than 500 employees would be eligible to take out small business loans. Now apparently these loans would have little to no interest and there are a few stipulations that you'd have to go through in order to be eligible for them. For instance, you can't lay off all of your workers and these loans would be capped at about $10 million for a single business. It also looks like beyond the loans, there's also grants up to $10,000 and these can be used to pay for emergency expenses like paying your workers, making sure that the business can stay open during this crisis. And it looks like these would be able to be given out much faster. They would basically be instant if you were to apply 
to them. But overall, um, give me your thoughts down below. Ask any other questions that I didn't answer. I tried to be as thorough as possible. Um, there's so many new reports coming out. I'm reading new things. Uh, just like five minutes ago, I read a bunch of new things. Um, comment down below any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that. And uh, also make sure to subscribe, uh, hit the like, uh, hit the little bell ring notification and uh, like the video. And uh, I will try to keep you guys as updated as possible as I can. Thanks for watching the video and bye for now.